Here we have a very nice looking 2010 Jaguar XF Premium Luxury. It's got the upgraded alloys on, it's in very nice condition and it's got lots of features on the vehicle as well, as you'll see later on in the video. If we start with the offside front tyre, you've got a good 4 to 5 millimetres of tread. Looking at the offside front alloy, it does appear to be absolutely spotless. No curb marks, scuff marks or any scratches at all to the alloy. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, again in great condition, paintwork looks very nice. No dinks, dents or any damage. Mary's in nice condition with no marks on that. Looking at the driver's door itself, very clean, um, no signs of any scratches at all. No chips at all on the door edge. Both the sills are spotless and there's no damage or any dents at all to the roof. Look on the rear door again, very clean indeed. No marks at all to that and no chips at all to the door edge. There is a few little light scratches that could do with a polish. Again, nothing too major. Offside rear quarter, again, no signs of any damage or any marks at all there. Look on the rear tyre, you've got a good 5mm of tread again. And take a look at the offside rear alloy, again absolutely spotless, with no curbings or any marks at all to that. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, very nice looking car indeed. No dinks or dents at all to the boot or to the rear bumper, again a very nice condition. Rear parking sensors, does have a reversing camera as well. Again a couple of light scratches to the back here, again just requires a polish as they are very light. But again, no signs of any damage at all. Take a look in the boot. Just needs a bit of a valet, but again, nice condition there. And you do get your spare wheel and all your bits and bobs. Move around to the near side rear tyre. And you're looking at around 5mm of tread. Look at the near side rear alloy. Again, great condition. No curb marks or anything as such there. And looking down the near side of the vehicle. Again, great condition with no dinks, dents, or any damage at all. Rear passenger door edge is fine with no chips, and it's the same with the front door. Again, paintwork looks immaculate, no marks at all there, no marks in the mirror, etc. And the car, as you can see, has been clearly looked after. Around three to four millimeters of tread on the front tyre, a little bit of a curb on the near side front alloy there. Again, very light, so shouldn't really be a problem. You have got some other curbings to the alloy as well, so it could potentially do with a refurb. Moving around to the front, you can see all your front parking sensors. Looking on the bonnet of the vehicle, again, very clean. Um, barely any signs of any um, stone chips, just one or two dot around here and there. Again, great condition to the front, with no signs of any damage. Take a look inside the vehicle. As you can see at the uh, full silver interior, perforated in the middle as well. Great condition, no rips, tears or any scratches at all to the leather itself. And it does look very well inside. Back of the seats from nice condition and the carpets are nice and clean as well. So great condition in the back of the vehicle. Take a look inside at the front. And it's the same story. Uh, drive seats are very uh, well kept as you can see, no damage at all to there. Slight bit of creasing but again it is a used vehicle. All electric seats and the same with the front passenger seats also. Great condition on the rest of the dashboard except as you can see that real nice wood trim. Spotless inside and out. Steering wheel is also in nice condition and as you can see the car has been looked after. Step inside and see the mileage and the paperwork. Now, as you can see, obviously we've got the car running now. Uh, two sets of keys with the car, and it is push start. As you can see, the car starts perfectly fine, no problems at all. Um, looking at the mileage here, 67,381 there. And no symbols appear on the dash there that you need to be aware of. Multifunction function steering wheel. As you can see, it's all touch screen, you've got heated seats. Driver and front passenger, I can tell you now, they work perfectly fine. Again, all the blowers are functioning. And everything works exactly how it should. As you can see here with your audio, again, no problems at all with the sound. Sounds perfectly fine. Again, it's all touch screen. Um, if we just show you the navigation, if I can press it correctly. 
as you can see, no problems at all using this sat nav, works perfectly fine. Everything looks great and it's in great condition as well, automatic transmission, etc. Taking a quick look at the documents now, looking at the V5. We've got two owners on the vehicle, so it's two owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends here April 3rd, 2014. Um, so, a month or so left in the MOT. And we have a full franchise service history, which is what you'd expect from a vehicle of it like this. 15 there, 33, 50, 64. I do believe that's your last one there, at 64,000 miles. It's not that long ago serviced either, as you can see. But there we go guys, that is the 2010 Jaguar XF Premium Luxury V6. Very nice inside and out, the car's been looked after, requires a little bit of a polish. Other than that though, the car is in spotless condition. Very nice indeed.